I do not separate the children out from worship at all. Do, do, do you understand? They are part and parcel of what the Eucharistic experience is. So what happens is at the beginning, I will do a sort of, a part of my introduction, a sort of an introduction, uh, which will also incorporate some kind of engagement with the children for the theme of that day. They are always involved, hugely in, in involved, in the different parts of the, of the service, insofar as I possibly can. What I do is, however, I have a children's activity for them linked to the gospel of that morning or, or the actual sermon. They go down to the crossing, which is in the, in the cathedral, just at the back of the pews, which is very much part of what the, of what the worshipping space is. And the, over a period of, of a number of years now, the noise becomes part of what the worship is. They're not hugely noisy. But they are dropping crayons, or they are doing this. So sometimes it might be doing a little, uh, a little um, piece of craft. Or, or sometimes it'll be doing a, a little picture or something. There'll be something. And there's lots of kind of resources in that on the internet. But they, but they are always in as part of the worshipping community. I can't understand, do you know, we scratch our heads when, when kids get up to 16 or 17 years and they, they leave the church, they, they leave worship. But sure, we've been excluding them from, 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 from grown-up worship. Uh, I keep saying a phrase of mine is, we have to present uh, uh, worship which, uh, which people can grow into and not grow out of. And that's hugely important. People grow into, not that, that people grow out of. And that's, for, for, for me, that's, that's really hugely important. Interestingly, as a result of this, I think it's, it's as a result of it. Uh, one of the teenagers, uh, he's just finished primary school now, he's just finished his grade six, uh, uh, you know, piano. He now wants to play the organ. He started wanting to play the organ for bits during communion, and now he plays sometimes for the full services now. And I don't think that would have happened had he been, you know, had he been taken out, he, he became really quite, quite, quite involved. So it's a different kind of philosophy to the whole thing. But, but, but we're still talking there about, about Ghana. So that's a, a piece that's important for, for me, that everybody is involved in some way.